Hey everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back again with another video and holy crap. <laughs> Naughty Dog. Oh, Naughty Dog. Okay. Now, warning to everybody, I never played The Last of Us. It just, it wasn't a game that I looked at or saw as interesting. Uh, I'm more of a survival game, first person shooter kind of person. Or a, a hunt like giant monsters kind of person. But, uh, from what I've heard, The Last of Us was a really good game. Uh, it's, it's not a game I've actually played if it comes up free on the PlayStation Store, which it might. It might actually become free here in the next month or two. Uh, if Naughty Dog ends up taking a severe hit to all this nonsense. Anyway... What we have here is uh, some major leaks that were leaked out by Naughty Dog. And, uh, well, all I got to say is it's get woke, go broke, folks. That's that's what has happened here. Uh, they went super woke. Uh, from what I've understood from reading, um, they've gone against the character models. I'm really limited in what I can do on my phone, <laughs> which is why I'm not showing this. If I get a computer eventually, which I, I kind of just survive on my PlayStation and my phone most of the time, if I ever get a computer, I'll actually start like picking out all screenshots and stuff that I've seen. But most of this, uh, yeah, most of this, uh, they, they re-rendered character models. It appears they brought Anita Sarkeesian in, who is not a gamer. I, I could beat that bitch at Super Mario World. I promise you. I, I could get further than she could in less time. Um, she, uh, she comes in here and just... You know what she's throwing. Everything's sexist. Everything is racist. Everything's homophobic. And you have to point it out. This is the very same chick that... There's a video circulating where she's talking to a she's she's sitting there in a room with an xbox controller and the xbox controller is not even on and she's talking about how she used to play video games all the time when she was a kid but the misogyny that was in the world of video games made it hard for a girl to be a gamer and then that's set right next to another video where she's just a few months earlier talking to a group of feminists saying She's looking in. She's talk. She's looking at misogyny in video games, and she's not a gamer, and she doesn't play games that often, and never really played video games when she was a kid, and so she had to educate herself on video games. Which, you know, her education is ba on video games is basically colored feminist bullshit. Okay, we're just calling it right there. So the problem that we have uh, with the the leaks. This is the the major. Holy shit! Let's get down here to the 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 leak here. Okay, what's what's new in the leak? Perhaps the biggest surprise is the revelation that Ellie isn't the only protagonist in Last of Us 2. The other playable character is Abby, a woman who was introduced during the Paris Games Week 2017 trailer. Very little is known about her previously, but these new leaks reveal she's the daughter of the surgeon Joel killed, who, if I'm understanding correctly, Joel is was the guy who became Ellie's um, father figure, pretty much. He, he basically becomes her protector because he feels like he failed as a fam as a father. Um, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about this game, but I, uh, this 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 is fun. And apparently, Joel kills this girl's uh family member. Don't know if it's male or female, so I mean, we're we're not too sure. Towards the end of the first game, during his mission to rescue Ellie. From what I understand, Ellie is also immune to the virus or, or fungus or whatever it is in the game. Like I said, I've not played it. I'm being completely honest here and, and up front. I've not played The Last of Us. I probably should. But this is not how you make a sequel. Okay? And in here, uh, it, it basically says, The switch to Abby's perspective happens about halfway through the sequel, including a level list a level list according to the leaks. This makes for a controversial choice consider, considering the leaks also reveal that Abby kills Joel with a golf club. Jesse, another character who is featured in the E3 2018 trailer, is also confirmed to die at some point. 
which I believe Jesse, here's, here's the stupid part, because if I'm understanding this correctly, there's a group in here that is a, supposed to be a Christian cult. Yeah, and uh, if I'm reading this correctly, Jesse is a Jew. If you know anything about Christianity, Christians, by the very nature, unless you find very, very few minority sects of Christianity, do not hold a high respect for Jewish people. Because in the Judeo-Christian biblical texts, they are the Jews are considered God's chosen people. Christians are... God's son, Jesus' chosen people. So this kind of shows a lack of probably basic knowledge. You're, you're pulling out a Christian religion to make Christians the bad guys. If it was an Islamic religion, it would make more sense because they actually throw gays and lesbians off roofs. Uh, they actually do. There's a vast majority of that culture actually does do that. They actually do practice the killing of gays. Most Christians, if you if you look at it, they're they don't even really practice putting people to death at all. Even in even in most countries where Christianity is a big thing, um, most of that comes from unorthodox religions, uh, hyper Calvinists, things of that nature, uh, who would you know implement witch trials and things things like that. Uh, a book to read would be Fox's Book of Martyrs. You'll find there's a lot of people that a lot of the martyrs can trace their lineage, can trace their uh, religious lineage. In other words, uh, the people that led them to God, they can trace their lineage back to they trace their lineage back to Christ, and they were people that were burned at the stake. A lot of them, they were hanged, they were chopped into pieces, they were burned at the stake simply because the state's religion was in opposition to the actual Christian religion. So there's a lot of there's a lot of, when someone says, "Oh, Christianity is a really bad thing all over the place," they're not checking history. They're they're making an assumption that's based on ignorance. But like I said, th them killing killing her off and, and making about making it uh, about a Christian religion. Here here's the thing: nowhere did Jesus preach uh, killing people. In fact, he was a lead by example sort of teacher. Jesus, uh, the one time Jesus got violent was because people were inside of the tabernacle, were inside of a temple, and that was his his place. I, and I'm just throwing this all out here, not as a religious push, but more of a, so you can understand how absolutely convoluted and tone deaf the writer was when they were writing this portion of the story out. Uh, it it appeared, and from what I've also heard, there's a large Almost seventy percent of the staff left because of the because of a lot of the views that were put inside of this game. They just up and left the company. They they couldn't stand it anymore. They were offended. Okay, that's what you call true offense. Okay, people come out and say they're offended. They're like, oh, you know, I'm I'm offended by something, and they strut around being offended. No, no, no. true offend being truly offended means it turns your stomach so badly that you you can't stay in that room anymore. Of being offended means you turn away from it and, and retreat from it. That's how bad it is. It's like walking into a room with a whole bunch of rotten meat packed everywhere, okay? And the smell hits you. Your first instinct is to vomit and get out of there. That's the instinct your body has. That's what offense means. People who claim to be offended are not that offended half the time. Anyway, continuing. The story comes to a head as players fight Ellie and Dina, but play as Abby. This leak doesn't make it clear whether Ellie dies, which I've heard, my my guess is, I've heard that at the end of Last of Us, you can make a decision whether to save Ellie or not, whether to let her die or go save her. And this apparently takes up from the, you know, save her life. So I figure it's going to be a choice, because I've heard that Ellie goes on a goes for vengeance, and then I've heard Ellie's friends go for vengeance. So I figure the third the third game, if if they're planning on that, what they're planning for the third game, which probably isn't going to happen now because of the wokeness, was you're going to play as Ellie hunting down this character, which would be good if you were not playing as the character. This is the problem here. You're playing as the person who's going to kill Joel. Also, Ellie apparently has problems with Joel now because he's controlling. It's it's the freaking apocalypse. Uh, people have to be controlling to an extent. But anyway, 
And then when they say this leak doesn't make it clear or not if Ellie dies, I figure that's going to be a choice on whether Abby kills Ellie or not. But regardless, she's going to be hunted down by Ellie, by either Ellie or Ellie's friends, one of the two. So I think they were planning on doing the making the push into the next game. If they were, they're they're probably already were planning a third game, and I don't know how well that's going to happen because they're now. Um, accelerated the release date and I figured that's to get ahead of everything. One one guy on the I figure it's to get ahead of trying to get ahead of the leaks, but one guy was also stating I can't remember who it was. They said they were probably trying to get ahead so that the pre-orders would not be canceled. Because if people start canceling pre-orders, that's going to be a bad thing. But anyway, let's keep going. The cynical nature of revenge is a very obvious theme connecting it <laughs> all exploring it. Exploring how it changes Ellie and Abby based on these leaks, it sure looks like Naughty Dog wants to comment on how revenge can make a villain out of anyone. Well, it depends, all right? Going after someone doesn't technically make it revenge. Uh, there, I've said this before, you know, you got characters like Batman who is not a vengeful character. He is a just character, and so he will go out of his way to make sure someone goes to uh meets justice even if it doesn't mean even if it means not killing them. So I mean but I mean this if you're gonna do a revenge thing how it can make everyone you you have a moment you could still have Joel die and have Ellie be the center of it but making them play as the person who's gonna beat up Joel you realize that you the character have caused it. The purpose of a story is to try and put yourself in the place of the character. You know, try to relate to the char- to the hero of the story. And the problem is you're trying to make them relate to the villain. It's kind of it's kind of like how SJWs can't write heroes very well. If you look at heroes now, they don't do anything heroic. They just punch people in the face. Uh She Hulk wrecks a van, almost kills a guy in, in one of the new She Hulk uh comic books, and she drags him out and leaves him for the girl that he raped. Uh, not caring about the police officers who are hanging out the window bleeding <laughs> of the van. Like, they may be dead. We're not going to call an ambulance for them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and it, <coughs> <coughs> wow. Hey, what do you know? That fungal thing may be a real deal. Anyway, the toxicity of this this game is get, is permeating even through these articles. But anywho... Uh, you also have like Captain Marvel who goes out there and violates every single person's civil uh, due process rights, throws them in jail because a mutant kid can see a possible future. This is an actual thing. It's it's so retard. A lot of it's so retarded. Uh, you don't you don't want people to play as the villain unless the villain uh, unless you're trying to show how evil the villain is. And this here is the villain coming back. You could still have this chick kill Joel and and damn near kill Ellie in a cutscene. But the fact that you're having this the player play as the villain through half the game, it's not really a twist. It's just going to insult them. It's just going to make them mad. And uh, the the fact is that you don't you didn't you were trying to hold these leaks down the whole time. That, in my opinion, kind of shows that Naughty Dog here, they they knew this was going to be a problem, especially when 70% of your staff leaves. And you got someone like Anita Sarkeesian, who, by the way, she is absolute poison to any project. If you are a game studio out there and you're watching this, take note, this woman is absolute poison to the industry. Okay? Look at Anthem. She can't, All she did was tour Anthem's building, and they got major backlash from that. There were members inside of Anthem who came out privately and said, anonymously, were saying, we were so mad that she was there because we know who she is. She is a sham. She's a shyster. That's what she is. She goes in there and she just, she lies about the entire industry and creates these false narratives about it and then goes out there and tries to make money off of it. Anyway, I need to keep going or we're never getting through this nonsense. This makes for a surprising and subversive route. Oh, God, I hate that word. Stop trying to subvert people's expectations. Just go. Roundhead Ryan did it. It didn't work very well for Star Wars. For the last for the Last of Us Part 2 story to take, it's 
not one that sounds like a fun experience firsthand. I would agree. It, it doesn't seem like it would be. How the leaks affect the release date. Seemingly because of these leaks, Sony announced a new release date. Yeah, like I said, they they upped the uh, they uh, made it an earlier release. Hopefully, they can pull away. From, basically, the article says they're trying to pull away from the leaks and everything, trying to get ahead of it. Uh, it's not going to happen now. You're you're going to end up with some serious. I mean, you're 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 not going to get ahead of this. <clears throat> and I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised that there's a major boycott when this happens. I wouldn't be surprised if they lose major amounts of money. I have not understood this because from what I also understand, they've they've gotten rid of a lot of the original Naughty Dog staff. They've just been and it's kind of like with comic books. You get it's it's one SJW getting in a position of influence, and then they start getting they don't care who they get who they fire. Because those people are are the wrong type of people, and then firing them, they can say, "Oh, you know, we're 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 doing more progressive things." They fire those people, and then they start hiring in individuals based not on talent, but based on race, based on sexuality, based on some arbitrary reason. Like I said, like I said in an earlier video, they base these they base their reason for hiring a lot of people on the cover. It's like watching a cover of a book. You send one of these SJWs into a library. They go through and just read the covers of the books. They never crack one of them open because they, they determine everything based on outward appearances. They don't judge it by the quality inside of it, inside the individual. They don't judge it based on their, their quality, their capability. And because of this, you get one of them will, will put their nose to a grinder and they'll work, but they're the patient zero. Okay, they come in, they they get to that position of influence, and then they start. Before you know it, your entire staff has been replaced with people that, if you fire one of them, they can start a social media backlash against you. And they kind of take they take they're like a parasite basically. They go in, they take full control of the company, and if you try to remove this parasite, all this parasite's going to start tearing out. It's it's like a I want to say it's a worm that kind of gets inside your veins and in your heart and lungs, and if you start trying to pull the worm out. It starts struggling and it'll cause it to go into cardiac arrest. It'll cause the patient to, to like, you know, start coughing and hacking. Even though they're actively killing them, trying to pull them out will cause a lot of pain. And so they take the body hostage pretty much. They take a company hostage and then they turn it into a propaganda piece and they run it to the ground. Like I said, uh, The Last of Us Part 1 was, from what I hear from everyone who's a fan of the game, I've not heard a single negative thing about it. They said it's an amazing game and I've... I would like to play it. I'm less inclined to play it now because of this nonsense. Because I, I'm kind of just wanting to. I'm kind of probably just going to do it like Star Wars. Okay, the Star Wars ended at uh, Return of the Jedi, and everything afterward is just a cheap imitation. <laughs> you saw the the prequels are good. the 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 original trilogy is good. The sequels they just don't exist. Okay, they're 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 bullshit. They don't exist. They're horribly written. And this is horrible writing. I mean. Like I said, they will go find something popular and then they want to turn it into a propaganda mouthpiece. <clears throat> and companies need to be very leery of these people when they come in. The moment you start seeing these people pop up, they need, there needs to be a mass upheaval and firing, not, not even caring what happens next. This needs to be a merit-based firing. And state, look, you're, you, they lost our company large quantities of cash. This is a justified firing because they are incapable of making money. But, I mean, whew. all right, Naughty Dog just, basically, they're trying to get a hold of it or get ahead of it. The thumbnail I'm going to put up kind of shows the difference. I, I've got a, I've got the perfect um, thumbnail for this, if I can make it fit. It's got uh, Neil Durkman saying, uh, we don't use fun around here. We don't say fun around here in Naughty Dog. And it's got a guy that I believe is uh, head of Nintendo, and he says, if the game's not fun, what's the work? What what's the worth in developing it? To some extent, or like, why would you even make it? And so it kind of shows you why Nintendo is doing above and beyond, and PlayStation and, and Xbox are kind of you know Xbox can survive because they've got Steam, so they can survive and make this shit. Uh, PlayStation won't allow Steam on the system; they won't allow mods or anything. So they're they're going the way of the dinosaur. I've, me and my wife have talked about this and we've stated we're not going to buy a PlayStation 5 because the games coming out for it are crap and we would and we could get all the games we want with a PC and I told her I'm like we could have better graphics, better frame rates. Uh we've we've already gotten COD Warfare and played against PC players and she was a believer she would be better on PC than she would be on 
a console. So anyway, tell me what you think about this, um, about how The Last of Us 2 has just been wokeified to the point where it's it's now uh it's it's now a, a damaged franchise in my opinion it's it's damaged it's uh it's been raped by uh SJWs we're, and that's that's what we're going to call it now we're not going to call it uh destroyed we're going to call it raped because that that's what it is damaged franchise <laughs> i mean it's now sitting in a corner uh bleeding out and it's it's horrible but anyway tell me what you think about this be sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel hit the bell for notification and as always keep you on the swivel stay frosty i'll see you guys next time